was four nights before Christmas and one of the most glittering events of the year. And a very merry Christmas was clearly had by all celebrities at Piers Morgan's star-studded Christmas party as a number of famous faces including Frank and Christine Lampert and Malene Klass and boyfriend Simon Motson let their hair down at London's Scarsdale Tavern on Thursday. Frank and Christine were fresh from celebrating their second wedding anniversary the previous night as they attended the Christmas bash, looking slightly bleary-eyed as they partied. The loved-up couple walked hand in hand. While they showcased their signature style for the occasion in their sophisticated threads as they arrived at the West London venue. While Malene, 39, and her hunky fashion PR boyfriend Simon were clearly one unit as the high-spirited presenter clung on to her man who wrapped his arms around her as he hugged her while walking into the venue while her hair fell over her face. Sky News presenter Kay Burley, 57, looked worse for wear as she pulled a series of animated expressions before being carried out of the venue clad in a stylish pink shift dress. Putting her best fashion foot forward, Christine, 38, looked chic in a daring black leather high-waisted skirt which featured a racy slit in the front. Highlighting her enviable pins, the Northern Irish beauty teamed the sizzling garment with a pair of pointed black suede stilettos. She teamed her look with a stylish form-fitting turtleneck. While she wrapped up in a camel-colored knee-length coat as she carried her leather handbag with studded detailing in her hand. Christine worked her glossy brunette locks into a center parting before cascading down her shoulders into a straight style and flashing her diamond-studded earrings. Complimenting Christine's demure look, former footballer 39-year-old Frank donned a pair of gray suit trousers burgundy lightweight sweater and textured blazer. Meanwhile, broadcaster Malene, 39, looked chic in a strapless jumpsuit which accentuated her petite frame as she walked into the venue with her other half Simon. She left her brown locks loose in a tousled curl while she teetered across the road in her sky-high heels as Simon held her hand tightly in his stylish ensemble. Her makeup look featured metallic eyeshadow, fluttery lashes and a slick of pink gloss. Frank and Christine's beaming display comes a day after they celebrated their second wedding anniversary with a posh meal at a Mayfair restaurant on Wednesday. The sports star joked that Christine was a real loose woman as she tipped her head back and downed a vodka shot with gusto to toast their relationship. The Loose Women panelist smiled nervously while holding the shot as Frank filmed her during their dinner he said, here she is Mrs. Lambert on our second anniversary, doing a vodka shot. You're so brave. Christine grinned and held up the shot, drawling happy anniversary, before guzzling the tipple. Observing her grimace afterwards, Frank chuckled and joked. Well done darling. Why you can take the girl out of Belfast. Sparks initially were flying when Christine and Frank met at the Pride of Britain Awards back in October 2009. The couple have gone from strength to strength following their two-year engagement when Frank got down on one knee in June 2011. Northern Irish Christine is stepmother to Frank's daughters Luna, age 12, and Isla, age 10, from his ex fiancee Spanish model Elon Rivas. As the couple have no children together, Christine revealed the pressures from friends to have kids of her own in a candid appearance on Loose Women. Speaking about Serena Williams' controversial comments that giving birth makes you a real woman, she admitted, as a woman with no children I kind of see where she's coming from. 
asked whether she had ever felt under pressure to start a family, she candidly replied, yeah. But it's definitely got less, people are more open-minded about what you want to do. Back in the day it was about being too ambitious and being a selfish cow, but of course that's not the case. Women put so much pressure on themselves, I have friends who have gone through IVF and it doesn't work out and they feel terrible guilt. They feel like their bodies have let them down. I feel terribly sorry for the couples that go through that as it's the one natural thing we are all expected to be able to do. However, the lovebirds are blissfully happy together with Christine admitting, I fancy him very very much and feel very lucky. Of their marriage, the wag explained, I love the idea of going back to basics. I love my date nights. I love pretending like I am 18 again, you know when you get your hair done for the day. Ick no this sounds really soppy, but nothing fancy. I just mean the two of us having one night just us. Meanwhile Fashai and Estimeline was forced to keep her relationship with Simon under wraps for six months in 2016, until Simon's marriage to his wife of seven years, Anna Walton, was officially over. The pair finally went public in May, and the brunette later raved of their romance to the Daily Mirror, he is so hot. It's lovely. I'm enjoying myself. Our newfound love comes after her failed marriage with bodyguard Graham Quinn, 41, who is the father to Hero and Ava. Graham walked out on her 34th birthday in April 2012, putting an end to their love, with their divorce, finalized in 2013. Discussing her devastation, she admitted to Woman magazine, I thought I'd never smile or trust anyone ever again. I felt so betrayed and so crushed. But I couldn't wallow in it. I say to my mom and dad, I'm broken, but I will not sink. Malene has been working at Smooth Radio since 2014 and presents of Saturday show between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. She embarked on a career in presenting in 2005 after finding fame as a member of Hearsay and as a solo artist. She came second in the 2006 series of I'm a Celebrity. G.E.T. Me Out of Here and won a legion of male fans when she showered in a bikini. Other stars to attend Piers' Christmas soiree were his Good Morning Britain colleagues Charlotte Hawkins and Ben Shefford, while Sky News's Kay Burley and Sarah Jane Me added a touch of glamour to the evening in pink 